Hello my fellow developers, today uh, I started this channel just to share my experience the last say about 28 years of programming, initially Visual Basic, C Sharp and other technologies around it and I'll share everywhere tips and of the trade or things I feel that can make your life easier and today I want to focus on SQLite as a data storage to re basically replace your um, registry settings. So I know normally the guys struggle to find a way to store their, their settings for an application and I implemented this the storage methodology and we've been using it for many years. Um, to basically just run through it quickly is uh, you can use it as a default as my as with your application name, your setting name that you want to store the key and the default setting if we can't find anything. So if I quickly run through this application before I go into the flesh of it, uh, my local setting brought back a Docker one because there is no setting. I'll change it and then I can store that setting docker1 and if I go fetch it again I've got test doc here all the way now to look at the code for this I'm just going to delete that settings file and this is the nice thing about it if your application gets stuck somewhere you can always delete the setting file and uh, you can start from scratch so let's step through the code now line for line if I go in here to get my setting, I got my application key, my section name, my key and my default value exactly the same as the Microsoft registry settings. The only difference is we're using a SQLite file. And then we go look, does my settings file exist? That's on the program data first up folder. If it doesn't exist, I go and I create this folder. And the settings folder doesn't exist. It will um, create a folder for, as a directory, have a connection. I'll create my settings file. I found that the section name 100 characters is normally good, else you type too much. Key name is 100. The settings value is 1024. And uh, application is 100 characters and then you just got the primary key on these settings and then we create our settings file we come back it doesn't exist i open it add a few values with parameters on the keys I execute it and i close it and if my result is zero in this case, I just created a database, so there's no data in the settings, in the user settings file. It will go and it will save my setting. Initially, do a quick check again. If the setting exists with your key, or if it's false, it will go and insert the setting into the database, in the table, and it will return. And it will return a default value because there is no value yet. So now I'm assigning a document name to my variable and I want to store this maybe on the exit of my application or when I close the screen. I want to save my last open document. So if I click on this save setting, it will check does my setting exist? It should be there now. It's happy. Then it will go in the else mode and it will update the setting with the last setting value that I sent with. And I'll dispose my object, I'll return, and just as a test, we can run it, get setting, and it will create a test document. So that is a quick way to do it. So that all that I did is to run you through the local storage code. Let's start from the top here. I'm going to pause that portion, I'm going to explain it now. 
the get setting will go and look if your settings file exists. It will test that file. If it file returns false, it will create a database in the database. Else it will create um, go and select it from this user setting where the section name is section name, the key name and the application is the parameter of that connection. And it will go and fetch the result. If the result is null, it tells me there is no set setting like this. Then it will save the setting for me. And my save setting code will first do a check because it's not always that you get setting first. You can save the setting on startup and it will create your database for you. And it will do the check again if the setting exists. Go through the system, see if this setting exists. If it doesn't, it will insert it. If it does exist, it will update it with your parameters. And if I go a bit further, there's a setting exist um, function. And it will check, it will just go and select with your key. And it will go find the result. And if it's null, it means that setting doesn't exist and it will re return a null. If it's true, it will go and check if I convert it to a string, if it's exactly the key that I sent with. If it does, it's happy and it will return true. Okay, and the create database portion, it will always check if the directory doesn't exist, it will go and create it. And then it will go and create the table with these values with its ID. Okay, and my connection string just returns the connection string with your settings file. And now it is on the constructor of my class, I created the settings folder and I just combined it with my environment common application data because it's a safe place to store my common data for my application and the folder where I want to create it in and that will create this folder for me and program data first hope my settings name will use my environment username my settings folder and my application my settings application and it will create and it will set to this and this is the database that it will create now, a nice little trick that I've learned through the years is if I do something a, a lot, say for instance, I want to store my email address. I, I just um, did the following and I'll quickly show you. Um, email equals local storage storage dot email. Okay. And that's how quickly I can get it. And if I go into this code, I created a property. And if I go to this definition is, I just created a property that will use my settings application, the public property that I can set beforehand if I want to switch applications that use the same settings file, my user email, and it will return a question mark if it doesn't exist and my save settings will save the value. Now if we test this quickly, um, and I can do a quick test here, if email question mark, because it's a controlled setting for me, then I I can say my local storage dot email command L equals Joe at do dot com and it will store it that will st store it and you don't have to do this whole save setting, get setting. 
it will do it continuously. So if I say um, email equals this and debug right line email then it should write Jodo for us. So let's just test this portion. If I get to this portion with a breakpoint, let print my test doc. It's happy with test doc. If I look at my email, it brings back a question mark. If you look at a variable, if it's a question mark, I can set it to email in my local storage. And get it again it's Jodo happiness so this is a quick way how you can add properties and you should get setting and save setting to um, save your settings for your local application and the beauty, as I told before, if you delete it, you delete the settings file, especially when your application crashes, you can just fire it up again and everything is back to normal. Your setting file is back and your application starts up as per normal. Okay, guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to keep on sharing a lot of tips and tricks that I've learned through the years. Thank you for listening. Until next time.